Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Salem 29 view bunkhouse travel trailer. This is one of the newest and hottest bunkhouse floor plans on the market right now. We're going to take a few minutes, walk it through the inside and outside of this RV, show you what this little hidden bunk area is all about, and we'll also close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Salem 29 view travel trailer. And as you've seen on the floor plan, this is a rear kitchen front bedroom with a hidden bunk room we'll show you here in just a little bit. We're gonna start back here in the back. We'll kind of work our way forward for you. So in the back section, we have our kitchen area. So they set this up to where you could have kind of like a little bar stool eating area or maybe use it even as a little office space or something if you wanted to and have a really nice view hopefully looking out the rear end of the RV. I opened up the windows just to kind of get you a rough idea of what it's like here. But you have your nice screens in here so on a good fall evening you can really let a lot of fresh air flow through here. There's a little storage underneath of there. There's also a couple electric outlets underneath there. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down there. They did drill a hole through the counter so you could actually, you know, feed some power wires and stuff down underneath of there. So if you wanted to set up a coffee pot or toaster or laptop or whatever, you can kind of feed your wires underneath there. Back here, you have a little bit of storage. Furion microwave, Furion hood range light and fan. And they went with a Magic Chef oven. So you have three burner, gas stove top, flip down glass lid. You have the glass front. And also little light up knobs if you want to turn on the knob part. Or you can turn on the oven part, either one. Window behind the stove area there does open. Pretty good amount of cabinet space here. Couple electric outlets over there also. You have the high rise spring sprayer faucet here. Double bowl sink. Now in here we have a little bit of drawer space. So this opens up and you have full extending ball bearing drawer gutted drawers here. So you have three of those. And then over on this side, you have a pretty large amount of storage space there as well. an electric outlet over there. Now refrigerator wise they went with the 10.7 cubic foot Furion refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So you got a little push button here to release the door. Freezer on top and then the refrigerator part on bottom. Kind of looking down the ceiling area here, you have quite a few LED lights down through here. AC ducts as well. One 15,000 BTU ducted AC standard on the RV. It's a Coleman AC. This also was ordered with 50 amp electric service and a second AC as well. So that second AC is a nice option to consider depending on what part of the country you might be in. You know, if you're up north, you may not need it, but if you're down south, I would probably definitely recommend it. You have a little pantry area here as well. And then a little access panel down below. Now that little access panel just held on by a couple of screws. I took it off just to see what's back there. They have some electric wires running through there. Um, but if you wanted to unscrew that, and maybe 
use it for a little extra storage space or something, obviously be careful. But you know, I have seen a lot of people do that with RVs because sometimes the factories just put panels over things that could be storage. Now here you have kind of a little U-shape couch area right here. Now there is storage underneath of the center part and each end. You have these little plastic tubs. So you have quite a bit of storage down here and even more over there on that side. Little magnetic catches to hold it closed. Now this will also flip down and make into a bed. And these little back pieces here are just Velcroed into place, so you could take those out of the way, giving you a place for one or two people to sleep. Or if you got kids, maybe three or four. Look at the nice big windows here overlooking that campsite area, your awning side of the RV. Now, right in front of your sofa area here, you're going to have your entertainment area. So on each side of this TV area, you have some storage space. It's not real deep. You know, you're probably looking at about, I'd say, five or six inches deep, roughly. You have electric outlet here, cable outlet here. You can mount your TV here, whatever brand you might like. Feed the wire through here and also through the other side. Plug things in but it does not come with the TV from the factory. They leave it up to you to pick which quality TV you want to go with. Um, I'm pretty picky on my TV, so I'm kind of glad they don't just give me some cheap one and charge me three or 400 bucks for it. Down there you have an electric fireplace. I forgot to turn on, but it is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have the Furion sound bar there as well. Again, more storage over here. You have over on this side, the 30 amp charge controller for the 200 watt solar panel that's on the roof. You'll see that when we go outside. We have two thermostats here. We ordered this one with two ACs. So you have one that will work your propane furnace and your main AC, and then the other one that will work the secondary AC. You have a on off light switch here, which is also a dimmer switch for most of the ceiling lights. Couple other light switches, awning switch, slide switch, water pump switch, battery fresh water meters, all right here. Suburban on demand water heater controls. A little bit of storage area there, shelf space, and you have your electric outlet down below. Now, here again, kind of the same thing. That one's probably, I'd say, only about three inches deep, roughly, but a little storage space there. And then down here, we have, again, a little bit more storage space, but we also have the little hidden door handle here that opens up this wall and lets us get back here to the hidden kids' room. So on the right side here, we have a large window that will open. This can be used as an emergency exit. You have a little stool here and a little flip up and down counter. So if the kids aren't doing any work or whatever, they can flip that down and get a few inches of extra space there. Window across the top area, both of those also open. You have electric outlet there, USB charger port as well. Now you have some shelf space here. Some little vents down below also. Now this top bunk right here will actually flip up. We'll do that here in a second. Um, but you can kind of see back there as well. There's two cubbies and then another two cubbies below. Flip this up here out of our way. There's two more cubbies down there and again two more below. So you have eight little cubbies back there. And then you have three more over on this side. And another little bed back here. Now there is a 
vent right here that allows the air conditioning to blow into this area. It does a fairly good job with just the air conditioner vent blowing itself down here, but they also put another fan in here with a switch that really sucks the air out of the air conditioning ducts and brings it in here as well. So that actually feels pretty good right now just by the fan blowing by itself. But obviously it depends on the temperature. But cool little setup here for the kids to have their own little hidden bunk room without interfering with the rest of the RV. How cool is that? What do you guys think of that? That little hidden bunk room is a little larger than the 24 view version. Obviously this being a 29 view, the whole RV is a little bigger, but kind of a neat little setup. Now here we have our main entry exit door. You have traditional screen door here. The entry door does have a window in it, got a window in the hallway. They're currently using pull down roller shades on most of the windows. Uh, I think the one behind the stove has a different type of shade on. I think it's a metal mini blind. Here we have kind of a little archway with a sliding door for privacy for the bathroom area. Traditional medicine cabinet here, little sink area, some storage below. Foot flush toilet, step in shower. Little vent fan up top here. So let's step into this shower here. Kind of look from the other direction. So you can see you have some shelf space also built in there. You can stash some of your towels and linens and stuff there. But a pretty decent sized bathroom for being just a one slide out RV. Now up here, we're gonna have our master bedroom area right here. So you have hanging closet on each side along with some shelf space up above. The Salem is using this new VersaTilt bed that they call it, which allows you to sit up in bed and maybe watch TV or read a book or whatever. And then it's got a power button to drop it back down into sleep mode. This is a 66 inch wide, 78 inch long mattress. So I believe it's referred to technically as an Olympic queen on house standards, but in the camper, they call it a camper king. Down below, you have some more cubbies and you also have a little uh, area below that where you could maybe kick your shoes underneath of. Here is kind of a little laundry chute area right here. This kind of goes out to the outdoor uh, storage compartment area. Very large windows in this bedroom on each side of the bed area. You can see that second optional Coleman AC there. There's also uh, TV hookups here on the ceiling. There's a backer in the wall so you could mount your TV. Prepping for a King Wi-Fi Connect system, you can do aftermarket. The Versa bed, up and down button here, light switch. Now, when the bed is in up mode, it gives us, I want to say, probably about another 12 inches, maybe 14 inches of walkway here. So it does free up some of this space to maneuver around in here a little better. And we have another large closet over here. This one was ordered with the optional washer dryer prep. So that right there has another little light up there, shelf and hanging bar as well. But when you do the washer dryer prep, they put a couple electric outlets in here, hot and cold water lines and a drain line. So you could do a combo or stackable washer dryer if you wanted to. Look how big that window is for an RV bedroom window. That is massive. And these little things here have a little shock assist on them to help hold them up.
Now when you want to put the bed down, let's step back here so we kind of show you what that looks like as well. It's pretty simple to do, just hit the button. It's a 12 volt motor system, so as long as you got a good battery charged up, this goes up and down fairly easy. Just takes a few seconds to do. And when it's down, you can see there's little cubby holes on each side here. There's an electric outlet and stuff on each side, so you could plug in your phone or CPAP machine or something like that if you needed to. And you can see you still have room to get by here, but it is a little bit trickier. Pretty cool new layout. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. We're going to head outside. I want to show you what it looks like outside. Then we're going to come back in, close up the slide for you real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Salem 29 view travel trailer here. We're going to start here in the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior, which is hung fiberglass. It is a wood studded constructed RV. You have some lower black metal skirting. Obviously some very large deep tent safety glass windows you've seen while we were inside there as well. There's a pretty good size pass through storage compartment here across the front section. You can see that little laundry hamper thing there. Then you have a couple grab handles. There's a light in here and some of the mechanics of that Versa bed as well. They do kind of a little dry erase board on the back of that baggage door there so you can make yourself some notes. We have prepping again for the King Connect and also that heated enclosed underbelly with the removable panels. Now this particular coach was ordered with the optional power stabilizer jacks. Traditionally you would have quick drop jacks that almost look identical to these, uh, but they just don't work off power. You just pull the chain, drop them down, put a little torsion on them with the crank handle, and you're good to go. So you got your choice when ordering which way you want to get it. You have a power awning here with an LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, and a manual override in the front arm head here in case of an electronic failure. Large folding entry handle, traditional RV entry door and screen door. You have the more ride entry step here. This is rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground. It has adjustable feet as well. You have two outdoor speakers right here. You also have your gravity fill fresh water right here. And you have your electric outlet and cable outlet out here in case you want to put a small TV or something out here, or a big TV. Right down here is going to be the fresh water tank drain. It's a little white handle right back there, uh, inch and a half valve. Basically, it is a large dump handle that will dump out a lot of water at once instead of those little 3 8 version. Now on that power awning, it also has a little cradle foot up there as well. So when it is rolled up and in storage, the awning tube isn't gonna worry about bending like it would uh, if it didn't have that. When you get into them real long awnings, it's nice to have that little cradle foot. Here we have the little outside kitchen area. So you have a little griddle here, works off propane. There is a propane hookup right down here. You can also see that underbelly as well. You have a little uh, mini fridge here as well, 110 volt mini fridge. There's a cold water spray port right there as well. And then you have your furnace exhaust out right there. Just above your kitchen window right there, you have that stove exhaust also. There's a little flapper in that stove exhaust. You gotta make sure you open it when you are actually cooking. Just huge windows, again, letting in a lot of fresh air on a nice fall day like today. 
You have your on-demand water heater right here. You have your city water fill up and your black tank flush here to clean out your toilet tank as well. This was ordered with the optional spare tire mount and cover. And yes, I said optional. Most dealers do stock it with the spare tire mount and cover. However, a lot of people buy these RVs, park them permanently, and don't want to waste the money on an extra tire that's just going to sit there and dry rot. So you can pick and choose whether you do that uh, when you order your RV. You have a traditional four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people like a stored dump hose in there. Uh, if you're a traveler, you might maybe put a small uh, bike rack or something like that on the back as well. Up top there in the center, you are pre-prepped for the Furion rear observation camera. Nice safety feature to consider adding to the RV. It is basically a camera that goes on the back, shoots a wireless signal to a monitor, allowing you to see what's going on when you're backing into your campsite or driving down the road. You can also see there on the roof, it has a nice arch to it so that it uh, is kind of designed to allow water to run off toward the gutter system. We're gonna step up here, kind of show you what that roof looks like. You do have a one piece roof material. You can see there that solar panel. Again, this was ordered with two ACs, that second AC being an option. Skylight over there, TV antenna, plumbing stack vents, all that type of stuff. Very, very important to get up here and make sure your seals and stuff are all nice and fresh and not gonna dry rot and crack open over time. You do gotta get up there and reseal that stuff. Now again, this one was ordered with the 50 amp electric service to allow for that second AC and that washer dryer prep that was also optional on this one. And you could see right there, that is detachable cord. Those cords are traditionally about, I think this one was about 30 or 35 feet, somewhere right in that range. Slide room area right here. So this slide out is pre-prepped for Solair slide toppers. Little brackets in the corner up there. So you can put a slide out topper on it, which will roll in and out with the slide out. Very nice feature to consider adding as well. That right there also helps shade the room, repels a lot of leaves, twigs, debris, water, you know, all that type of stuff. Just tries to keep that roof of the slide nice and clean and fresh. So when you run that thing in and out, it's less likely to damage anything. Now just over here in front of our slide, we have our dump area right here. So we have a galley handle, a gray handle, a black handle, and then we have our secondary over here, which is the washer dryer prep also. Look at that big window there. You seen that when we were in the kids' room? Again, that window opens up nicely. The other side of our storage compartment area right here. Now here on the corner, we have some important informational stickers right here. So this one, for example, tells us our lug nut torque. This one here is the unloaded vehicle weight sticker telling us the RV weighs 8,285 pounds dry. Had a length of 34 feet, 10 inches. Up here, we have our tire sticker telling us we got ST22575R15 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. Our production date sticker. This RV was built 911 of 23. Model number 29 View X. The X is because it has the fiberglass that they've been doing for almost a year as a like free upgrade. They keep saying at some point it's going to go away, but they've been doing it for almost a year now and it hasn't gone away. So here we have the gross vehicle weight 9,810 pounds. You have your VIN number also on here as well, a couple of the little things. But very, very important to remember, gross vehicle weight, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, don't exceed that number. 
Now the front of the RV has kind of a rolled metal, a smooth aluminum front. And in the lower part is that black diamond plate. You have two 20 pound propane tanks standard on the RV, power tongue jack with the LED light strip, uh, also manual override standard as well. You have the two and five sixteen hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. There is room for one or two batteries to go back here. It comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. If you do purchase from Couches RV Nation, it comes with at least one. If you want a second one, talk with your salesperson about that. You have a battery disconnect again back there. So when you are putting it away for storage, you can just flip the switch. But overall, a pretty cool, nice new floor plan from the Salem product here. Now we're gonna head back inside. I want to show you what it looks like closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're now back up inside the brand new 2024 Salem 29 view travel trailer here. And I just wanted to show you real quick what it looks like all closed up for you. So when you are ready to close it up, it's very important to make sure everything's out of the way. So your bar stools and stuff are fastened back into place. Cabinet doors are all closed up. Your slide out is going to come in over top of your main subfloor here. And you got to make sure everything's out of the way so it doesn't accidentally run something over and damage your floor. So right here is going to be our slide button to bring it in. Now, obviously, with the slide closed, it's not going to affect anything in front here. So I can come in, get to my bedroom, get to my bathroom, and not have to worry about that if I'm stopping at a rest area or someplace. Um, but we hit the button. The slide in comes up at a little bit of an angle. And then basically, it'll kind of settle back down once it gets in. It's going to come in very, very close and practically touch the sofa. So here you can kind of see. It gets right there close to everything. So I could kind of step over my sofa a little bit, maybe kind of go back there if I needed to. But I'm not getting into my pantry or my cabinets. I'm not really getting into my refrigerator or any of that type of stuff. So to really kind of use the back of the RV functionally, you would want to be able to bump out that slide. And again, it's a 12 volt slide. So you push a button, it goes in and out. And it does have a manual override in case of an electronic failure as well. But Nice and easy to go right on back out also. Just hit the button. So pretty quick and easy as you see there. Just takes a few seconds to do. All right, folks, thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.